What's up guys? So to benefit from this video and to understand what I'm going to be teaching here, you have to understand three concepts. And that is you have to have a slight understanding of the number system of how if I'm in the key of G, this is one and this is four and this is five, one, four, five. And if I'm in the key of C, this is one, this is four, F is four and G is five, A minor is six, things like that. You need to also understand some bar chord fundamentals. You need to know some E shape bar chords, um, E minor shape bar chords, and A shape bar chords or A minor shape bar chords are also helpful to understand. All right, and then you need to also understand maybe one or two scales, maybe just some pentatonic scales, a major or minor scale, just to kind of understand what I'm going to be teaching on that side of it. Okay, so how this works is you think of the fretboard and when you're playing in a certain key, you think of you're playing in a certain zone on the fretboard. Now there are only three zones and it's it's quite easy to get your head around. So, so zone one is going to be here on um, with the one chord on the E string. So if I'm in the key of A, I will be starting on the fifth string, right? This is going to be my one chord. My four chord will be just below it. And then my five chord will be over here. So one, four, five. I can also add my two chord. Four, five. I'm just using different voicings to play the five chord, but it's still built off of this note. So one, four, five, six. I can use this to play most songs. One, four, two, five, six. Two, four, five. Now you can also play around with this using full chords like I'm doing now. Okay, or you could use like little mini chords, like tenth voicings. One, four. One, I'm gonna go to five, six. I just borrowed there from another one, but that's that's the three chord that's kind of hidden there. Let me just also write that in there. So that will be the three chord that I'm adding there. Okay, not really important, but um, can be nice to have, especially if you're using this. Okay, so one chord, two chord, three chord, four, five, six, three, four. You can also do this with power chords. Five, four, six, five, one, four, six, five. Okay, let's apply this to another key. So let's say we're playing in the key of G. We just move the whole zone down. So we start with G is the one. G. Four, C, five, six, three, four, five, one, five, six, four, one. I mean, you could use like Jimi Hendrix steps. Four. That's a d just a different way to play the four chord. Okay, five. Now there I went a little bit too far. So I went a little bit into the next zone, which we're going to get to in a minute. I just want to explain this to you in another key again. So let's do another demo in the key of F sharp. This is my one chord. This is my four chord. to my two chord to my five chord using this jazz shape and um, I'm gonna the, the second part of this video is gonna be exercises on how to you know apply this kind of thing okay so once I've worked at my zone one and I've really kind of mastered it not with all the chord shapes but just with some power chords and some basic bar chords then I can move on to the next note now all the zones 
move in a loop. If we have zone one over here, we the next zone will be zone two, but the, the zone be, behind it will be zone three. So if I'm going up with the fretboard, I'm going to be going to zone two. If I go down, I'm going to be going to zone three. So I'm first going to be explaining zone two next. Okay, now just remember zone one is built off of the one chord on the sixth string. So this is my starting point when I'm playing in zone, zone one. That's like my home base and that's where all the other chords go. If this is the one, that's four, that's five, that's six, two and three. Okay, that's important to understand. Now if we go to zone two, let's go to that. Zone two is going to be built off of the sixth chord on the fifth string. Okay, so remember my, my zone one ends on the sixth chord. Okay, so if I'm in the key of G, it's going to be one, four, five, six. So now I'm going to play in zone two, starting on the sixth chord. So this is my sixth chord. This is going to be my three chords going to be right above it. Right, my three chords are minor. And then my four chord is going to be just next to the three. So we've got six, three, four, five. And then one is going to be just behind, below the five. So six. Three, four, five. I messed up my scale, but you get the idea. Six, one. So I can play my one using the C shape as well. I don't have to play it using the A shape bar chord. I can also play it using the C shape. So we got six, one, three. like a G shape. Okay, using mini shapes, I can go six, three, four, five, one. All right, let's play the, the same thing, but going to another key. Let's do the key of D. Okay, so then my one is on D. And this is going to be my place. Okay, so six chord, one chord, three chord, four chord, five chord. So, and and just remember, guys, um, the second zone. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the zone, but the second zone is a trickier zone to master. It's the zone used by um, John Mayer a lot. And I'll explain that also what I'm doing there just now. But this is the trickier zone. Zone one is the easiest and then zone three and then zone two, the one between zone one and three is, is quite the hardest to get around because the shapes are really awkward if you want to stay just in the zone. Okay. But anyway, it's a, it's a really good zone to learn. So let's keep, let's me, let me keep dem uh, demoing it to you. It's a very beautiful zone. Let's do the key of E. So my, I put my one on E. So this is E, this is my one and this is my six. Three, four, five. Okay, or I could do my five like that if I've got big hands. So six. And uh, let me quickly explain also how to solo in the key. If I want to solo in zone two, I'm going to be building my using my minor scales starting on the six. So I can use my C sharp minor or my six, my minor pentatonic scale starting on the six. I can use my natural minor scale. Okay, and then I can play some chords. Six, three, four, five chord, back to the six. All right, and so the underlying scale of zone two is the C sharp minor scale or just the minor scale because we want to think of this as movable patterns you don't want to think of it as specific key okay so as uh, just to go back to zone one for one second the scale that you want to solo over using zone one is the major scale or the major pentatonic with the root on the sixth string 
So, in other words, if I'm in the key of G, it's going to be major pentatonic. One chord, four chord, five chord. Just soloing the major pentatonic scale. Or I could do the normal major scale. Okay, so that's it. Let's move on to, let's quickly just demo uh, zone two again in the key of E. So if I'm in the key of E and I'm in zone two, um, I've got my one chord here, which I'm not gonna play the root, I'm just gonna play the root with open E string. One. And then I can go to my four chord. Just quickly gonna pause this recording for a second. All right, so we're back with the zone two in the key of E. So this is our one chord. And then we go to the four chord. I'm just hitting the root here instead of playing it there, okay? And our five chord. Built up of this note, which is the B. This would be our five chord within zone one. One chord, four chord, five chord, six chord. So I want you to see how the zones are connected just quickly before we move on to zone three. If I have zone one over here in F, it's gonna be one chord, four chord, five chord, six chord. And then at this six chord, my second zone starts. Six chord, one, three, four, five. Using mini shapes, six chord, one chord, four, five. Six, three, four, five. You can do it with a lot of different styles. Okay, so that's zone two. Let's see if I covered everything. All right, let's move on to zone three. Now, just remember the connection point here is on zone one starts over here, and then it ends on the sixth chord. Now, the sixth chord is gonna be our connection point. So that is the note that starts zone two, and then zone two ends on the one chord here, okay? So zone three will naturally start on the one chord. Now, I have included this four chord from zone two, but that's just because it's often used like that. Often when you play in zone three, you're kind of going this way, direction and that direction. Whereas with zone two, you're just kind of staying here in this block and zone one, you're also just kind of staying in this block, right? So you're kind of starting in the air and then going to the right. But zone three, what makes it unique is it often branches to the left and to the right of your guitar. Okay. So if I'm on my guitar like this, I'm playing uh, E E chord, I'm playing in the key of E. This is my one chord, and then my five chord is gonna be just above it. So let's just explain it with power chords first. One chord, five chord, four. So one, five, four. Six chord. So one, Five, six, one, five, six, two, one, five, two, one, five. You can go to three, but now I'm in zone two again. Four, five, six, one, two, three. Let's play something a little bit more beautiful. Part two of this video, I'm going to be looking at the other notes and just explaining to you not just the root notes here of the zones, but explaining to you, okay, what other notes are inside that zone. 
and how you can use that to improvise as we did with the scales. But anyway, just quickly, the scale that you want to use with this zone is the major scale built off of the root on the fifth string. So one, two, three. You can also use the major pentatonic, sorry. Or the minor pentatonic built off of the six chord. So there's the one chord, there's the five chord, there's the six chord. So I've got my scale, one chord, five chord, six chord. See how I improvised there in the minor pentatonic scale built off of the sixth chord on the one chord going to the four chord which is A in this key sixth chord four chord back to the one Okay, so what John Mayer basically does is, is, and what experienced players do, is once they've mastered each zone using power chords, using mini shapes, using full shapes, using improvisation, then they kind of connect those shapes. So they do like start dancing, they go. So I'm in zone three here, because my sixth chord is on the top string. Improvising in the zone, and then I'm going to zone two to my four chord to my one chord in zone two because I know what's happening in zone two I know where to play my one chord okay um, another example is Jimi Hendrix so he starts here let's say in zone one in the key of G or E minor so he's playing around in zone one so and then we can go to zone two Back to zone one. So he's kind of branching out. If he's in zone two, he's kind of going back to zone one. And if he's in zone three, he's kind of going up to them. So you're kind of blending the specific zones, but you become comfortable and you learn how to play in that zone. So that's all I want to say about that. In, in the second part of this video, I will show you exercises that you can use and show you all the other notes inside the note zones that you can use to solo over or to add new cool chords or whatever. Okay, cheers. Bye.